Uh, good evening. Uh, Special Envoy Mr. Peterson is here to take some questions. Uh, Gary, if you want to say a few opening words, and then we'll take your questions. Very good. Uh, have, uh, you know, I believe a very good discussion with the Council, both in the open and in, in the closed session afterwards. Uh, you will have heard that there was a full support to the work that we are doing uh, in Geneva. Of course, uh, welcome the launch of the Constitutional Committee. Uh, I gave a rather detailed description of what I think we have achieved so far. Uh, and I, uh, as I, I said before, I think uh, at this stage, things have gone much better than what most people expected. And uh, I'm looking forward then uh, to meet again on Monday with the drafting body of 45 to continue the discussion there. I, of course, also emphasize that uh, the Constitutional Committee is, of course, one part of the political process. We also need to see that there will be made progress on other issues. But for, as of now, of course, I'm concentrating on the work on the Constitutional Committee. We're still appealing, of, of course, for uh, release of uh, detainees and, and people that have been abducted and more information on the missing uh, persons. But again, a good meeting and a full support from United uh, uh, Security Council. And that's also quite something. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Pedersen. Uh, be beside the Constitutional Committee, uh, what are uh, the elements that you need to achieve uh, in order to talk about any uh, political uh, uh, breakthrough? Uh, and also, I wonder whether uh, you think that the uh, financial crisis in Lebanon might affect the situation in Syria. Mm. Listen, I, I think the, uh, one of the key challenges, of course, after nearly nine years of conflict is what I, I call the deep divisions within the Syrian society. And we need a political process that can heal the, the wounds in the Syrian society. And we have, I think, quite a few ideas on how we can move forward on this. And I discussed that uh, with the Council. I'm discussing it when I'm in Damascus. I'm discussing it uh, with the opposition and, of course, with the broader international community. And I think hopefully we, we will be able to see that steps will be taken in this process. Thank you very much, Mr. Special Envoy. Betul Yuruk from the Turkish News Agency Anadolu. Earlier today, we heard from the U.S. Special uh, Envoy to Syria, James Jeffrey. And uh, what he said was that the U.S., by securing the oil in the uh, east of Syria, they were not doing anything illegal. Uh, I was wondering if you could tell us uh, whether that is legal or illegal under international law. And my second question is, uh, do you have a deadline for the work of Constitutional Committee? Uh, no, I don't have a deadline for the work of the Constitutional Committee, but uh, what we have agreed is that we will work seriously, that we will make progress, and uh, that I will be reporting on the work of the Committee to the Security Council. So, but what I think is important is that while the work of the committee is progressing, that we should also see progress on, on, uh, on other areas. And my, second question, uh, my first question on uh, James uh, Jeffrey's remarks on I, securing I the oil. That's what I call a rhetorical question. I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> James and Embryo. Um, Special Envoy, can I go back to comments that were made by the Syrian government co-chair, Ahmad Kuzbari? In his press conference, he said that any constitution needed to preserve what he described as national constants. National he, constants. He made that, used that phrase a number of times. Now, you probably know that must be code for the dynastic rule of the Assad family who will soon be marking 50 years of their repressive rule. Clearly, at some point, you're going to have a crunch point when you have to address this issue, aren't you? Well, I... I think I would have been very surprised if the parties at this stage of the uh, Constitutional Committee did not promote their primary views, hmm? their the principles, uh, positions. These are very, very early days. You know, we had a good discussion where we went through, the, I think, nearly all issues of relevance to the Constitutional Committee. There were some, uh, uh, you know, views, I think, that they actually agreed upon. And then, then of course, there was a, a uh, deep divisions on key issues, but isn't we, we but we, we call it the Assad knot, isn't but it? The we, central we, issue. But we know that. That's why we are sitting together in Geneva. That's why we have started the discussion, and then we will see how it uh, develops. And then I'm sure, uh, James, that maybe you know, in a few months' time, 
we will uh, be able to discuss whether there has been any progress on how we're moving forward on the drafting. But this will be discussions between the Syrians. Maria, then the bill. Uh, thank you, Mr. Special Envoy, Maria Hrenova, TAS News Agency. Uh, so uh, the American representative uh, uh, said quite uh, clearly um, his position against uh, the help to uh, Damascus uh, in the reconstruction of Syria. He was supported by European countries. Uh, what's your position on that now when uh, uh, political process seems to be moving with the Constitutional Committee? Um, does UN support the American position or Russian position or has its own position? Uh, uh, and uh, my traditional small question, uh, do you plan any meetings with the Russian authorities soon? Pardon me? Uh, do, uh, are there plans uh, to meet uh, any of Russian uh, representatives? Yes, I, I have plans for that, but uh, it will most probably be public sometime next week. So uh, I hope to have some meetings in the, in the near future. Uh, you know, this discussion about reconstruction and the political process is, you know, a, a, a well-known position from the Americans and from the Europeans, and they have repeated that today. But at the same time, I've also noticed that they are emphasizing that if there is progress on the political front, they are willing to engage. And I think that's what I want to emphasize, that, and that's what I want to work on. Thank you. So, Mr. Pedersen, Nabil Abisab Al Arabi TV. So. Uh, you don't have a time frame, obviously, and uh, it's not maybe a good idea for any negotiations to have mm. a time frame, but what would be a, a benchmark, or what is the priority in the second round, starting Monday? What do you see, uh, uh, what kind of achievement you want to see after this second Isn't round? I, I th and I, yes. if I may follow up on Ali's question, the impact of uh, the Lebanese uh, financial crisis on Syria. Uh, listen, I think, I think it's important that uh, we, we accept that it would take a little bit of time to develop the discussions in Geneva on the Constitutional Committee. I mean, these are, uh, you know, fundamental issues about uh, how to organize the state. You know, it's about the social contract for the future of Syria, and it's about listening to the Syrian people and to respond to the aspirations of the Syrian people. So I think I, I will not sort of establish benchmarks of what I want to happen this week and the next week, but what I want to see is steady progress. And I hope to be able to report on that, as I said, to the, to the Security Council also in the, in the future. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. About I have many, many thoughts about that. <laughs> <laughs>